Hi and welcome to the IRAD lab. Uh, here I'm going to be demonstrating today how I put together the GS215 probe. Many people have asked how I can build such a uh, an effective gamma scintillator probe at such a reduced price. Um, what we do is we start off of course with the two major components in any scintillator probe and that's the photomultiplier tube itself and the scintillator crystal. Uh, the tube that I use in the GS215 is a Hamamatsu R87801, good for scintillation counting. Uh, to it I have installed, since it's a socketless tube, uh, on the circuit board of the, uh, of the PMT itself a 62 mega ohm resistor string and to that I've attached a high quality uh, 24 gauge uh, silver impregnated copper wire and shield, with shielding around it. Uh, that's the basis of the probe. Uh, to that I take my two inch round cut scintillator plastic that has been polished on every side and then coated with a special reflective paint that I've developed here at the IRAD labs. Uh, this paint reaches a refractive index uh, of about 98%. As effective as Teflon, but uh, more durable stays in place and uh, allows for easier uh, replacement of the crystal and building of the probe. Uh, it makes it, the probe a, a lot more uh, durable and long lasting too as the, when you tend to tape these things up as so many people do. Uh, with a lot of Teflon tape and then uh, black plastic tape. Uh, it, it can be a mess after a few years of aging. Um, to those components, uh, you, of course you need a housing. I use a stainless steel housing for this particular uh, probe and a cap. I simply insert a very high density uh, foam rubber insert into the face of the housing make sure it's dropped down in there flat. That will protect the face of the crystal from being bumped against the uh, scintillator probe. It helps the, it to be a little bit more durable assembly. To that I add a very low density but closed cell foam liner that will go that will line the entire probe adding uh, cushion and support to the entire assembly. That gets inserted in there and it's cut to be an exacting fit. All I need to do is make sure the seams go together. And now I'm ready to insert the assembly. I've already soldered uh, the BNC connector on the end of the end cap uh, to this PMT and I've placed some very high viscosity silicone, clear silicone coupling gel to this crystal. So we're going to go ahead and couple this crystal to the PMT. And I use a circular motion while twisting the PMT to make sure that the silicone is evenly distributed across the face of the window on the PMT eliminating air, any air pockets and making sure that we've got a good clear window across the crystal surface to the surface of the PMT. Once, and I can actually feel the resistance and I know exactly where I need to be with this process. Once that's done, uh, you pretty much have a, a working assembly except for the fact that you could never fire this thing up in the light. We do What we do now is we just simply insert this assembly into the housing like that. Then we drop in a foam rubber spring. What this device does is it, it keeps the PMT snugly against that scintillator crystal so that you always have a good strong connection. Uh, it's already been pre-slit. I insert that foam uh, down in there that spring in there like that and then I just simply 
twist the cap on and close it up and that's all there is to it. Um, the next thing I need to do is of course uh, test it. Of, cor of course all of my tubes are tested upon assembly so I know they're going to work but it's a simple matter of turning it on and already I'm near a gamma source and you can hear it even inside that lead pig it's picking up the, the gamma that's in it. Here's a 0.39 um, microcurie of uh, cesium-137. I'm sure you can hear that and hopefully you can see the needle reflect all the way across the meter. This is americium and of course I'm not going to get anything up with that because there's no window in it like the other probes that I build that have a window and of course we pick up uh, the uh, alpha from this. Uh, this is also a get, uh, gamma emitter but it's a very low energy gamma emitter and it will not penetrate the stainless steel housing of this particular probe which happens to be about 0.3 millimeters thick, this stainless steel housing. And here is a uh, a uh, thorite mineral source and that just sends the needle off the scale. It really screams on that. So we've got another well built yet inexpensive GS215 scintillator probe available for review. Thank you for watching.